What's up guys, Jason Gruber coming at you with another video and if you have not already, you guys definitely need to check out my previous comparison video between these $320 sunglasses from Acne Studios and these $18 sunglasses from Urban Outfitters. Link right there, go watch that video and let's get back into this one. It's been a minute guys, but we have a sneaker on foot review today on the uh, Mason Margiela replica paint splatter sneakers as you can see right here very very dope designer sneakers and if you haven't already checked out my unboxing on these I'll have the link right here where I unboxed these my Rick Owen Geo Baskets and two pairs of Space Jam 11 so if you haven't already checked that out link up there I am so happy I got these I actually have had these for a while and I haven't fully worn them out because I have been meaning to do this review and on foot so I want to keep them clean for you guys and when I got them they're like pretty pristine as you could see so I wanted to save them for the video so after this video I'm gonna finally rock these and undes them so yeah but anyways here they are the Mason Martin Margiela replica sneakers now I did pick these up off of Grailed from a guy named Noah who gave them to me for a really really good price getting straight into the review first thing I want to say is the sizing on these shoes and as you can see they're a very narrow pair of shoes and I have, I have narrow feet so I thought these would be really good and the guys said get true to size so that's what I got these are a US 10 and a half or 43 and a half and they do still fit a little big so first thing I want to mention is if you are getting these and you have skinny feet I would recommend going down half a size if you could but speaking on the sizing let's get into the box right here which is all white as you could see you have an all glossy white shoe box right here uh, pretty small and narrow like the uh, Dan Smith Adidas box and it's pretty simple just has a pull-off top and on the front just has the Mason Martin Margiela logo with all the numbers right there and the number 22 circled for the saying that it's the sneakers and it's a it's basically what you expect from a designer shoe box basically all white and nothing on it and you just have the little label thing which actually isn't stuck to the actual box it's just folded over and stapled on the inside which is a little weird, I guess, but there's your label right there. Has a little mock-up of the shoe, tells the sizing and the colors and all the. And then attached to it, you have this little uh, piece of paper that just talks about how the product was like um, put together and stuff, which is pretty cool. And then inside the box, you do have, uh, I guess you can call them dust bags, but they're really more like booties for the shoes they're they're whatever they look more like hair nets honestly you just i guess put the shoes in here if you want to pack them in a suitcase it doesn't really cover the entire shoe and it doesn't have like a string to loosen or tighten it so i don't really ever even use these but it's cool they come with it and on the inside you have the original uh well the receipts right here with this little thing from mr porter which is where the buyer or the seller actually originally bought these from got the invoice over here i don't want to show it on camera because it has the guy's address but what is cool is that these actually came from sweden uh in stockholm so that's pretty cool but yeah that's really it for the box only too there's also some like tissue paper in there but you guys want to see the shoes so here are the shoes right here i absolutely love the color on them they go really well as you can see with denim kind of like that wash denim color and this whole upper is a really, really soft nubuck material. If you don't know what nubuck is, it's basically really short hair suede. So it's really buttery smooth. You don't want to wear this when it's raining out, unless you know you got some crep protect. But yeah, it's like that all the way around on every single part of the shoe and even the front. But as you can see, uh, what the, the replica sneakers are known for, or at least these ones, is that iconic paint splatter look on these low top Margellas, which it does look pretty cool. I mean, some people might think it's gimmicky, but I, I really do like it. it. As you can see, it's red, white, and blue, but these shoes are not at all like 4th of July themed or anything. They just chose their colors. And these are actually like hand painted or hand splattered. So every single pair of Margellas that come with paint splatter all look different which I think is pretty cool, which is also another reason why I like paint splatter shoes. And if you haven't checked out one of my previous videos, I have these right here, which are a pair of Joran 1s, all paint splattered. These aren't, these weren't really customs, but if you didn't really check out the my Jackson Pollock video of me doing a painting project, link right here. And basically this just happened from me doing the painting 
So that's why I kind of uh, cherish these, kind of a cool memory. If you guys want me to do a more of an in-depth review and on feet of these shoes right here, comment that down below and I'll definitely do that. But yeah, as you can see, the paint splatter is only on the toe of the shoe and a little bit on those laces, which they're actually really, really nice quality laces. And they are laced up the designer shoe way. And as you can see, going up the tongue, you have the Margiela logo again with all the numbers, which I think is pretty cool. And the tongue is also made of that really nice new buck. Also, if you guys are wondering what these things are, these are just like those IKEA shoe trees right here that I really like using for uh, shoes like this. Moving towards the bottom of the shoe, as you can see, you got that iconic uh, Margiela sole right there, and it's all gummed out, which is really nice. So both shoes, as you can see, got that nice gum sole, and I bought these from the seller from a for a really good price, a little over like $200, so really good. As you can see, basically dead stock. But I do know these shoes have been, have been worn before and I, the seller did tell me that because on the inside which is made of uh, white leather it does have some stains or something that are probably just from like dark socks I could I could get rid of if I wanted to but it doesn't really matter. Taking a look at the sole you do have that Margiela looking again with some cool patterns and right here it does say the 22 once again but there's just a look at the sole and going on the inside of the shoe you do have that white leather on the inside of the shoe and the back of the tongue you got this really nice white calfskin leather and you got that leather insole right there which is which does say replica and a bunch of other information about the shoe it says men's sports shoes lambskin and calf split made in australia and people that don't really know margella and margella shoes they see a replica on it and they just instantly think they're fake but that's just what they're called so a little misleading but i really actually like that touch on the insole as I said, these are the low top replicas, but they do have the same exact shoe in like a mid top form. Same color, same materials, same like splatter paint colors, but in like a mid top. That's also pretty dope, but I personally prefer these. The mid top's a little weird, and honestly, I don't really have any low, low top designer shoes. I mean, I have like the Balenciagas that I got off girl, but those are kind of like more of a mid top shoe, so I'm glad I got this. It's really good for like uh, special occasions or going to the city or something. It's like it's like a very subtle like stunt, you know? So that's why I really enjoy these shoes. If you guys have any questions on these shoes, definitely put them down below. If, if you're a Margella fan, hit the like button. That's gonna wrap up this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed these Mason Martin Margella replica paint slider sneakers. If you're looking to cop these, I'll have links down below to uh, Margiela's site, eBay, Grailed, all that if you wanna try to cop these. Cause you can definitely buy them on other sites and not get them for retail. I got these for like $230. If you guys aren't ready, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to support the channel and support the community. And with that said guys, let's head into the on foot part of the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jason Gerberg signing out, peace. Everybody asking me, are you alright? I can't really lie, I think I'm fine Yeah, I'm second thought, I really wanna die I don't know what's been happening I fall apart and break apart, it's running through my head They won't stop or leave me alone till they see me dead They won't stop or leave me alone till they see me dead All I know is I ain't gonna stop until I am ahead Everybody's talking shit and lying, that's okay Guess that goes right in my knee, just really paved the way I started from the bottom, yeah, they used to believe in me Now I'm on that sound, I come up, they tryna deceive me Yeah, forget but don't forget Couple months I gonna leave again, no doubt about it, man I don't understand why everybody acting like we never met But I guess that's how it's the place, I guess that's how it just said Everybody asking me, are you alright? I can't really lie, I think I'm fine yeah, I'm second thought, I really wanna die I don't know what's been happening I fall apart and break apart, it's running through my head They won't stop or leave me alone till they see me dead They won't stop or leave me alone till they see me dead All I know is I ain't gonna stop until I am ahead
Remember when I wrote this girl a fucking paragraph? Told her that I loved her, she said that I gave her a good laugh. Ever since then, yeah, you know that I've been trying to take it back. This shit getting way too fucked, I need to go hop on the track, yeah. Pull up skirt, everybody acting like they got hurt, and they know that I was first, yeah. Everybody super fake, but know that in the room full of fakes, I'm on the come up with high stakes, yeah. Everybody asking me, are you alright? I can't really lie, I think I'm fine. Yeah, I'm second thought, I really wanna die. I don't know what's been happening, I fall apart and break apart, it's running through my head. They won't stop or leave me alone till they see me dead. They won't stop or leave me alone till they see me dead. All I know is I ain't gonna stop until I am ahead. I've been down so long that the only way is go up. They told me I could never do this, I'm here, what's up? I be pulling such a scoop, now I got money on the loop You know I'm only getting better, my shots are getting wet uh, They be fucking with the vision We better send Jay Young on a fucking mission, yeah They tryna make it look so blurry, but when it comes to fame, yeah, you know I ain't in no hurry Everybody asking me, are you alright? I can't really lie, I think I'm fine. Yeah, I'm second that I really wanna die. I don't know what's been happening. I fall apart and break apart. It's running through my head. They won't stop or leave me alone till they see me dead. They won't stop or leave me alone till they see me dead. All I know is I ain't gonna stop until I.